Thanks for joining us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Nolan Arenado. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, ready to go here. And on the mound for Philadelphia in this one, Aaron Nola. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Tommy Edmond at the plate. His home and away splits there. Leading off tonight for St. Louis, the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. And the pitch. That one off that the mark. The and this one is off and running. First pitch, 6 0 5. Next offering upstairs. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past it. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi run home run. Now, here is Edmundo Sosa in there, and it's 0 1. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Nope. Next oh. one misses. Now, 1 and 2. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. And there's a foul ball. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pitches outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. The next oh. offering misses. All three. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. And he deals. That's out to center field. Calls it in after a long run. Two up, two down. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating you just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped oh, underneath it in front of the warning track. One ball, one strike. Ball to strike. 
Swing and a bouncer. Gathers and throws to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. That's the third out. Redbirds down quietly. And now it's the Phillies' turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. And pitching in this game, Adam Wainwright. He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoskins hitting a ton of homers this year. Second most in the National League. Here's the strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Up the middle. Into the outfield base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just kept it simple. Batty Blake Curry. Pepper with the middle That's of the infield and field. took it back Red. where it came from. And there's just no one there to yeah. knock it down. One gone runner at first. Here's Chris Bryant now. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Swing and that one hammer. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. Chris Bryant pops one out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. velocity it's so critical that you move the ball around change speeds even try to trick the hitter at times but when you give up a home run right there manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss Nick Castellanos at the plate now batting four the left fielder Nick Liner, so a man aboard now with one away Batting fit. The Runner on at first with one ground. Stepping in Jordan. the long ball threat. Brandon Jordan. Line drive. Caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Batting fit. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And down towards the bottom of the lineup, hitting eighth here, Trevor Storm. Well, these days, we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Line drive. And that's down. A base hit. 
They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. The Solid swing hitter. from start to end. Oh, yeah. time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. First and second, two down. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. It didn't take long to get a That's result for that at bat. Really nice Five job runs. staying up the middle with his approach. Four, he didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Two outs, bases full. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Oh, and now a wild pitch. No movement on the base, it's ball one. Castellanos at third, Real Muto on second, Schwarber on at first with two down. That one back up the middle and it gets through. One run is in. Ball come gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball oh, comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two away. Batting six, the catcher, number four. Yadier. Now Molina, Molina at the plate. Molina having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Ah. And that's in there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. The 0-2. Foul ball. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And that is that. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies three and the Cardinals nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering is in for a strike. Seeing he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Brooke, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes the right it's too Number three. Three. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out Harper. quickly. Harper, the batter now as he swings oh, and misses Lord. for strike one. The 01. That one ripped. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for. Now right there. That's a Good nice baseball. job of taking that pitch on the outside the other way and Run just beat the ship. This guy's not known for using the whole field, but right there, he took what was given to him. Man at first with one gone. Now the third baseman, Chris Bryant. He's already homered here in this one. On the ground, could be two. Over to Edmund. Double play. And that'll do it for the end. We play two full. It's the Phillies three and the Cardinals nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Harrison the Cardinals. Bader. The center pitch. Harrison Bader. There's a strike. Oh, 
Kawhi to kick the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll two. Good eye right there. Bounce to third. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and the defense comes away with nothing. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bader gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And another ball. And this gets away from Real Muto. And he'll move up to second, no problem. Should be a pass ball, and that takes away the double play. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. Runner tags up for third, and he beats it, he's safe. It's a really good swing, he just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the win. He's blowing in from right field right now. Dylan Carlson takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Right-hander kicks deals. Strike two. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And down on strikes. That's the second out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a strike situation has just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Two outs and one in scoring position. The 0-2. This to center field. Jordan gets under it. And he makes the catch. That is that. So one left for the Cardinals. Still down, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Nicholas Castellanos. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now batting. Brandon Jordan, Jordan stands Brandon. in for the Phillies. Jordan. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First pitch, just misses. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Here comes a pitch. Boom. And there's the strike. One on one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. 
now and hits him in the chest. That leaves him without a throw, and they come away without an out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Now Got the top of the ball Catcher. a little bit, but not much. Jake that was hit pretty hard through the Real infield. Utah. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. <laughs> To the plate is JT Real Muto. Line drive to short and caught. Now batting. So, so digging in hitter. now for Philadelphia, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. Pitch misses no, inside. It. One and oh. Castellanos, the lead runner at second. Jordan at first. One gone. The next pitch oh. misses. And now two and oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Yeah. The 2 0 -oh is in for a strike. And there's a fly ball deep right field. It's gone! Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His 12th of the season. It's 6-0. pitch he wanted to hit spent on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off Brandon Waddell needs to the game he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty number 16 Brandon Waddell here's Trevor Story now now batting the shortstop Trevor First offering, and it oh, just hey. misses. And the 1 0. -oh. Right side, Carlson. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting. Two outs, the base safety. safety. And now right for the Phillies, Bryson Stock. In the air out to center, Bader drifts towards it. That is the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now a six-nothing ball game. Back here in Philadelphia as we go to the top of the fourth. And stepping in is the speedy the Edmundo Sosa. Edmundo. Fought off foul. Sosa. Righty delivers. And fouled off. <laughs> offering his foul back. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And the first That's pitch misses for ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead. 
at this point got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot the 1-0 Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, as hot hitting continues, he's been getting Nevada. great results lately. Third nice baseman. job of driving that Rolling. pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And first offering is fouled off. Goldie at first one gone fouled off he was late ripped on a line he can't get there that should be extra bases lead runner holds at third so two runners in scored position and just one out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Righty to the plate. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Real Mutil up with it. Fires the first. And there's two gone following the strikeout. The catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch, oh. and he just misses. And the 1 0. And a foul ball. Two outs, two in scoring position. So a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. Ripped to third and caught. So the cards strand a couple. They still find themselves down. 6 zip. the fourth and now here is Reese Hoskins leading off for the Philly wind of the pitch the first baseman Reese and that one Hoskins. hammered way back there and that one's gone he flexes his power with that swing this is 26 of the year and they add a run it's seven nothing Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Bryce Harper. Another so solid like power three. That one's in there on Harper. And he's down 0-2 oh, as he swings through it. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone. 
Here's the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Now batting, third baseman, Chris Bryant. And first offering is fouled off. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Up the middle. Over to Goldie. Bryant out of the play. The left fielder. Number Two four. outs, bases empty. Nick, Nick Castellanos Cup stands Cup in up. for the Phillies. That one ripped left field. Oh. Nick Castellanos goes deep. His 14th of the year. And they add to the lead. It's 8-0. Barely got that one out of here. You've got to love the effort and laugh to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. And here is the center Brandon Jordan. Jordan. 25. Brandon. Now a screamer into the Jordan. outfield. Bader racing over to make the catch. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now an 8 nothing game. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and now Bader up to the plate. Leading off for the card. The right hander back the to work. Fielder. Harrison. That one drifts that inside. Ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a wow. lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And it's one and one. one, ball, one I think he was sitting off speed there. The one one. Foul off down the right side. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Lakes down the line. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two oh, now on the night right. and so just a triple and home run away from the cycle De Young. seriously we're starting with this already the young in the box now no balls in a strike and a foul ball swing and a miss and he got him not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away the right oh, clearly just three. anxious Dylan right there and understandably so in an 0-2 count you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover and you don't want to strike out and you end up striking out that's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone it's too late to hold up your swing reaches for it but it gets through now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while it's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants At the belt and fires. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Castellanos makes the catch. And there's two down. 
So the lineup the flips the over. Second. Now up for St. Louis. Tommy oh, Edmund yeah. in there okay. for strike one. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Makes the grab and that's the end. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Phillies eight and the Cardinals nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And digging in for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly JT. regarded defensively. Fun to watch Real him Muto. control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. That pitch in for a strike. No That's one. strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And that one in the air center field. A little bloop single. So a man on base to start the inning. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot now lately. Batting. When you flare a ball out behind hitter. second base, it's really Kyle. a tough spot for anyone to get to. Warburg. You're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I'll tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And now Kyle Schwarber rips one to right. Bader racing over to make the catch. Trevor Storm stands in for the Good Phillies. Stop. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back to the first. Check on the runner, and he's back in standing. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. One and out. And now the lefty. Yeah. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Hit hard. Base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. These the days, when you see a ball come off the bat right like that, there. the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive. And it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Swing and a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. The first he needed out. It's been a 17. tough stretch to play lately. Three. Everything was on time and flew oh, it in that yeah. swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. That's hard hit on the line. Two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard now and right at someone. The right field. Looking for one of those blue right. hits to get a knock sometimes. Harper. Base hit. One run is in. Runner holds up at third. Base is still loaded. Two away as one comes across. Ready reliever out of the now pen. Jake Wood. This won't be Number easy for three. him as he comes in, but the base is loaded. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a in little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following nope. pitch oh. to help you get that out. Story on third. Stop over at second. Harper at first. Two out of the inning. This one smoked out to left. O'Neill makes the catch, and that'll do it. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies nine and the Cardinals nothing. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. For the Cardinals. 
the shortstop. Nola Edmundo back to work. Sosa. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Harper throws to second, and he's there with a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Your balls, what's strike? Now the 1 Tapped out in front of the plate. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. No outs. Runner on second. Squirts away a little bit. Tag save. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Bryant settles underneath it. Makes the grab one away. Here's Nolan Arenado. Now batting. The third baseman. First Nolan. offering misses the ball. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Swings and misses. Two balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. That one pushed foul. Runner on at third, one gone. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Yeah, nice that. job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Up the middle. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. The catcher, number four. Two on Yadier. with one out. Yadier Molina digs in now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Arenado, the lead runner out at second. O'Neill over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And strike two. One and two. Count. The one two in the air right side. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Up next for the Cardinals, the center fielder. Harrison, Harrison Bader. Next Bader. up for the Cardinals. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list.
Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Two outs. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. Fires over to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeder. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Phillies nine and the Cardinals one. Welcome back, and now Nick Castellanos. Leading up for the Phillies, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. And a pitch. Hey. Going one. They only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Next offering is down low. Moved into the bullpen for the Cardinals. Ryan Helsley appears to be getting loose. One one now. And now two, two and one. one after that missed inside. The two one. No, that missed. That's the ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count. High in the air, out to right. Carlson moving under this one, and out number one on the grab. The center fielder, number twenty five. Brandon. Here's the Jordan. center fielder, Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Right handed reliever. Now you see even okay. sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Next one just oh. misses. Now one and two. One and two is the count. Pitch. Stays alive. Jordan tries to hold up, appeal to first, did not go. Now all leave it up. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Now batting. So up next, next, JT Real Muto, known for his Real rocket Muto. arm behind the plate. This one in the air center field. Bader under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting, the designated hitter, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Say it went. Oh, oh, one down. Wouldn't chase no, that down. time. Oh. Jordan off of first with two away. And that one lifted in the air center field. Bader moving under it. Brings it in. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia, but they still hold a commanding 9-1. Back here in Philadelphia, top of inning number seven, leading off, leading off Paul the DeYoung. The designated hitter. First ball. pitch, ball. just misses. DeYoung. One ball, no strike. The 1-0. -oh. And downstairs.
the 2 1. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. This is Dylan Up Carlson. The, Cardinals, the right fielder, Dylan Carlson. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Next offering is in for a strike. Coming up on pitch number 100, probably nearing the end of his outing here, buddy. On the ground, a second might be two. Off balance feet, there's one. And he'll keep it for just the one. Tommy the Edmund number now at the plate. Second baseman, Tommy Edmund. On the ground, a short could be two. Quick feet to second for one. On the first, double play. And that's the end. This one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Phillies nine, and the Cardinals one. Back here at the ballpark, here's Trevor Story. Leading up for the Phillies. And the a pitch. shortstop, Trevor Story. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Bader makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back. Second no baseman. And the right batter there. now, Bryson stops. Stop. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Good up extension on that swing. Took the pitch the on the outside part of the plate Three. and drove it up the middle. He oh, let it travel yeah. just enough. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered in this game. First offering, and it just misses. And the 1 0. Rip, but it curls foul. Stop. Over at first with one away. On the ground, left side. Six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Phillies nine and the Cardinals one. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's a speed threat. Edmundo Sosa. Leading off for St. Louis. The shortstop. That smash Edmundo towards center. Sosa. One away. And now the now first baseman. The Paul first Goldschmidt. Baseman. For the fourth Paul time tonight. Goldschmidt. First wow. offering misses badly for ball one. Bouncer to Hoskins. He handles it himself. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batter. Here's Nolan Arenado. Put that Nolan. 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Check swing, but he went too far. 0-1. Rip to third. Oh, he gloves it. The throw. It's there, and that's a great play. Down in order go the Cardinals. They trail it big. It's 9-1. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the eighth. Here's Bryce Harper. Leading up for the Phillies. The right fielder. Bryce Harper. to the pitch off the mark there and it's one to no oh. 
Swung on, belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter. Now the here is baseman. Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. And the first pitch that's misses that's for ball, ball one. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The left fielder, number four, Nick. Castellanos. And here is Nick Castellanos. Hey, First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh one. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh and two now. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next offering is downstairs. Bryant, the base runner at first with one out. And now the count is even. Foul ball, he stays alive. Swung on, popped up, left side. Sosa under it. Makes the grab, two down. And at first, now batting. Brandon Jordan, Jordan stands Brandon. in for the Phillies. Jordan. to the left side but it is well fouled. Now fly ball to right center. Bader reaching back towards the wall. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. That's the third out. Philly strand one, but they still hold a commanding nine. You're back. Attention it's please. the top of the ninth. And now there's a new pitcher on the mound. Two. Connor Brogdon. Number seven. And he's got a nice lead to work with. O'Neal oh, leading man. things off and takes a strike. Kicks and deals. And that one pulled foul. Stays alive. Out to center. Jordan makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's now the catcher, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Next pitch is popped up. And Molina is retired. And there's two down. Now batting, the center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And he's got it. Falcon. And the Phillies slug their way to a win in this one. Part of the move off is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. We'll see you soon.